Good evening, Algebra 2 students. I'm going to do a problem of polydoku for you. Let's see, I've got the problem all set up here. Find the roots of the function y equals x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 14x squared minus x minus 102. Um, a nice big old function to start out the problem with. Now, when we talked about this in class, the first thing we want to do is take the factors of 102, uh, something like 51 and 2, and uh, you know whatever else we can break 51 down into, and that those should be the options that we're looking at. To make the process a little bit easier, the better bet is to take and... Well, how can I do this? Let's look at it. Type the function into your calculator. I've got x to the fourth. I've got it in there. You'll just have to trust me. This is a horrible reflection today. I type the function into your calculator, and what we're going to do is once we have it in there, we're going to hit graph. And you can see that it goes down and back up the actual graph itself. Now, when you're looking at yours, you'll be able to see exactly where it crosses the x-axis at. For our purposes, you're going to have to trust me that this first intercept over here is at negative 2, the next one, excuse me, negative 3, and then positive 2. So those look like the options that I'm going to use on the outside. Now, keep in mind, when I try x equals negative 3, what that really means is that I'm trying x plus 3 to be the number that we're dividing out. So we're going to take and put x plus 3 over here, and we're going to go ahead and start with our polydoku. Now, if you remember what happened, we wanted to have results of x to the fourth, 4x cubed, and 14x squared minus x minus 102. And that was what the results had to be of what we got in the boxes here. Now keep in mind, this box and this box are going to be like terms. So those are the two that have to add up to this 4. These two boxes will be like terms that add up to the 14x squared. These two will add up to the x. And then 102 should be that leftover one that we get down here. First things first, though, I want to put x to the fourth in that first box. Again, it's got to be the result. So now it's a question of what do I multiply x by to get x to the fourth. x cubed is our lucky multiplier. And then we just multiply down here 3x cubed, x cubed times the 3. Uh, again, the question is how do we get this 3 right here up to a 4? Because these two boxes have to be like terms. Uh, and I think we can mul or add to 3 to get to 4 is going to be adding 1. So now we've got x to the 4th and an x cubed in here. Now it's a matter of what do we multiply x by to get this x cubed? Well, it's x squared, a positive x squared. And we have x squared and a 3, so that's going to multiply to give us 3x squared. And you notice my next term up here is 14, so it's what do I do to the 3x squared to get up to 14? Obviously that's an 11x that we're going to multiply by 11x squared times 11. I'm sorry, not 11x squared, just 11x. 11x times 11 gives me 11x squared. 11 plus 3 plus 14, we're in good shape. So now it's 11 times 30, or 11 times 3 to give me the 33x. And you're saying, I'm um, writing these numbers look like they're getting kind of out of hand, but that's okay because again, 102 is the number that I'm going for. Let's see if I pull out and zoom in if that works. There we go. So now we have 33. We want to get down to negative 1. It's 33 minus 34. That's going to give me that difference. So I'm going to do minus 34 here. And, well, 4 times 3 is 12. Four or 3 times 30 is 90. 12 plus 90 indeed gives me that negative 102. And I've got what I want. I'm going to make sure that those two numbers match up. So that's going to be the remaining polynomial, x cubed plus x squared plus 11x minus 34. And what I'm going to do is write these now in the two terms that we have. We've got x plus 3, what I just divided out, and x cubed plus x squared plus 11x minus 34. Now, this is the result, and I'm going to see if I can't take out something again. Remember back on my graphing calculator, I did have this other number over here, this x equaling 2, which means I'm going to try to do an x minus 2. Remember, opposite of what the actual root is. 
And again, the result that we're aiming for is this x cubed, x squared, 11x, 34. So start out by putting in x cubed, realizing x squared is what I have to multiply x by to get x cubed. Negative 2x squared goes down here. I've got a negative 2x squared. I want a positive 1x squared. So I'm going to have to add 3x squared. 3x squared minus the 2 equals the 1 x times looks like 3x gives me my 3x squared and I've got a 3x times negative 2 so that's going to give me a negative 6x I want to go from negative 6 to positive 11 so what do I add to negative 6 to positive 11 boys and girls for those of you who said 17x perfect and again 17 minus 6 equals the 11 that we need to have in our result x times 17, that's going to give me the 17x, and then 17 times negative 2 equals negative 34, and again looking back at the constant, the remainder over here, got to have negative 34, and we do. So now, we'll rewrite the equation again, x plus 3, the first root that we pulled out, x minus 2, our second root that we pulled out, and then this remaining polynomial, x squared plus 3x plus 17. Now taking a look at this, we want to, first of all, first glance, can we factor it? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, next check is that we're going to have a real or imaginary or complex root with this. Remember how we do the square root b squared minus 4ac? Just as a real quick check to see if it's going to give us a negative or positive number. Um, by the looks of it, I've got 4 times 17, and I've got 9 on the positive side. So indeed, it looks like we're going to have rational roots, or excuse me, complex roots for this problem. So I'll just finish this out. I've got negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, what we're hoping to get out of here, we're hoping to get the additional roots. If you remember back at the original problem, they want all the roots. So we will have to get the two complex roots out of this using the quadratic formula. Uh, let's simplify. We've got a negative 3 plus or minus the square root of, well, let's see, 4 times 17. Looks like that equals 68. So 9 minus 68. Looks like it's negative 59. So it looks like that's where my two complex roots are going to come in with that negative square root. So now the answer itself, we go back to our x equals solutions. Again, we've got negative 3 and positive 2. And then we've got our two complex numbers, negative 3. And remember, it's plus or minus, so that's where we're going to get this from. Yeah, we don't want the square root yet. Got to take out that negative 1 to get the imaginary number. Negative 3 plus or minus i root 59 all over 2. And those are going to be the roots of this original function. So have to remember when you're doing the polydoku that you remember like terms, like terms, like terms, and those like terms have to add up to the terms up above. Same thing down here. We've got these like terms, these like terms, and when you added them together that they ended up being the exact result that was over here. So I hope this answers some of the questions. Not a whole lot of work, just kind of the fun game of making sure that you can put things in the box.